The Indian government has started an investigation into four cough syrups manufactured by a Haryana-based pharmaceutical firm after the World Health Organization's warning that they could be linked to the deaths of 66 children in the Gambia. The cough syrups have been manufactured by Messrs. Maiden Pharmaceuticals Limited in Haryana's Sonipat. The UN Health Agency cautioned that the contaminated drugs may have been distributed outside Gambia also with possible global exposure. Top official sources from the Union Health Ministry have now said the standard operating procedure says that the World Health Organization has to issue a guideline or advisory regarding the medicine of a country regarding its subsidiaries. Then it is the responsibility of the WHO to share the photo of the label of the particular medicine with the regulator of that country. WHO has not shared the photo of the packaging label to the DCGI even after six days, nor has batch information been provided to the Indian drug regulator. That has sent an email to the Geneva office of the WHO four days ago. Now, Maiden Pharmaceuticals was granted the license to manufacture medicines for export by the state drug controller Haryana under the Drugs and Cosmetics Act. The health ministry is now looking into whether all the four cough and cold syrups made were sent to Gambia alone or other countries as well. Finally, WHO has today issued a medical product alert for four contaminated medicines identified in the Gambia that have been potentially linked with acute kidney injuries and 66 deaths among children. The loss of these young lives is beyond heartbreaking for their families. The four medicines are cough and cold syrups produced by Maiden Pharmaceuticals Limited in India. WHO is conducting further investigation with the company and regulatory authorities in India. While the contaminated products have so far only been detected in the Gambia, they may have been distributed to other countries. WHO recommends all countries detect and remove these products from circulation to prevent further harm to patients. The people around there, the security and the building managers tell us that the office was open till yesterday. It would open like any other office, but it last opened today morning and after which it has been closed. There were also some contact numbers uh, numbers given at the office at the front uh, gate of that office and we tried contacted them, contacting them. They spoke to us, but they didn't give us any information about Maiden Pharmaceuticals. So it seems to be the case that Maiden Pharmaceuticals was functioning like any other company, but then when they found out about this alert, uh, they sort of attempted to run away even in their factories in Haryana in Sonipat they have two factories there even there uh, there's nobody and they're not allowing anybody to enter their factory so it's, it seems like they've gone away after this information came out now let's tell you um, what the questions are at this point and what the what the information we have from the health ministry now the health ministry is saying that the drug controller of, of Haryana the drug controller of Haryana approved these drugs approved these cough syrups uh, that were made by Maiden Pharmaceuticals. So it raises a question that if the, these were substandard, if these were not uh, uh, correct, if these were not right to be taken uh, by KJ and anybody, how were they approved by the drug controller of Haryana? The WHO on the other side says that they have never received any guarantee from Maiden Pharmaceuticals for safety and the requirements that they have. They even say uh, that uh, till date Maiden Pharmaceuticals has not sent them any uh, guarantees of their safety but on the other side the drug controller of Haryana has approved them so really a major question there now on the other side the website of Maiden Pharmaceuticals says that they've been approved they've been certified by the World Health Organization that of course does not seem to be right because of the, the WHO in their release is saying that we've not received any guarantee so, uh, so uh, many lies uh, seeming lies that are coming out from the Maiden Pharmaceuticals websites and uh, from their building as well now if we tell you what the 
the questions that the health ministry sources are raising they are saying that whenever a drug is exported to be sold in another country let's first get this clear hmm. that the health ministry sources are saying that this drug was only exported okay. and it wasn't produced it wasn't sold in india even we have spoken to some pharmaceutical some chemists and even some pediatricians they are saying we don't prescribe this in fact we have never heard of these medicines hmm. so it does seem to the, be the case that they weren't sold in india but india also has informal channels of drug distribution so we'll have to see whether they are distributed through that that will also always be a question